Well, hey guys, what is going on? Bekulski here. Me today, I am giving you guys a tutorial on how to get squad points quickly and in a way easily. So, as you can see in the top right, I have 676 squad points. Some of you guys may say that it is a lot. Some of you guys say it might not be, you know, that many at all. But I did get these like relatively quickly. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So the first thing you want is a good primary weapon. So basically you can have either an assault rifle or a submachine gun. Just make sure you're not using a three a three round burst weapon or a semi-automatic where it's shooting literally it shoots once and then you have to press for it to shoot again. And also do not use those attachments there as well unless if you are that good with a gun that shoots at that rate or you, if you want that attachment on then you know do whatever but um, I <coughs> I recommend uh, not to, but you know you do what you want. You can have a sub machine gun if you want, and uh, I've just frozen the screen for you guys. Um, you know, so you can either copy this loadout or do a similar loadout, whatever. But I am using a Remington R5 along with grip and suppressor. So that is your primary but you don't you don't have to use that particular weapon but that is just what I've just put on as a little example but it has done me good like in the past so you know it is a good choice of weapon now the next thing you want is a good secondary so basically you can use either a handgun nothing or launchers I'm I say a handgun but you can use nothing if you want extra perks so I say use anything on the handguns list apart from a magnum because as good as the magnum was in previous Call of Duties it, it is terrible on here purely because of the fire rate it has been downgraded so much purely because of the power of the magnum otherwise so if you had that thing shooting as it was like on previous cards it would just murder everyone now with your attachments on the uh, pistol you can have either an under barrel or mod or barrel and I would usually use an under barrel or mod because that you know I like using that and I'm sure you some of you guys might and that's what's getting me some good squad points Anyway guys, moving on to the equipment, you do not have to agree with me and put this on your own class, but I use the throwing knife. Now, some of you guys may, you know, may or may not know me and I, I just love the throwing knife and it looks so cool on a kill cam, but getting back to the point, there is another reason why I do like the throwing knife as well because it can help me you know just to get a kill streak and it can but what it can also do which I think makes it so helpful is keep me alive so if I was reloading with the Remington for example and someone ran around the corner or wherever they were coming from it would be so much easier to arm it than it would a sentence or a grenade for instance and obviously by the time I arm the sentence or the grenade I'll probably be, I'll probably be dead and you know the throwing knife however it, it literally takes no time whatsoever and it's more than it's more than possible to actually either get the kill or it you know it's worth an attempt so anyway guys for your tactical I I usually use a concussion but it's up to you what you use for your tactical because I, 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 I usually use a concussion but it's completely up to you with the tactical. Anyway guys moving on to your perks what you want to use for your perks it's it's almost up to you on this one but technically you're going to want to use some perks that are going to keep you it you know it, that's going to keep your character alive now uh, it doesn't sound very clear when i put it that way uh come to think of it but what well, the perks that you're going to want to use are ones that are going to help you not not particularly ones that are going to help your kill streaks so what you're going to want to have on is you, you can have uh more tactical stuff on so stuff that's going to protect you from uh, a satcom or something but anyways what I use like so I can get something like a maniac 
I'd use the ones that are on the screen right now. You do not have to use them, but it is recommended. So if you want to get some good squad points, you know, if you want to get something like a maniac, so you you know you can get some good squad points out of it. It is recommended that you use the ones that are on the screen right now. Anyway guys, for your kill streaks, you're going to want to have either specialist or assault. You can use support if you wish to, but I but I believe that using assault is going to get you some more um squad points because of, you know, what kind of kill streaks it provides you with. So, as you can see on here, if you can get roughly around surely you can get three kills otherwise support is going to be what you want to use but if you can get like seven kills or something then you know you're looking onto using either specialist or assault and obviously if you're using assault try and put some higher kill streaks on because you can because you know that will get you some good kills lead you onto more and more and you know it will help you level up possibly complete a few challenges and obviously if you complete the challenges you can earn experience and squad points from that so here is some other examples of like some uh, classes you can uh, pause the video and you know have a look through them if you want to possibly use what I'm using and <coughs> you know guys uh, so you know the assault you can use that if you wish to or specialist but I am going to be using uh, assault Anyway guys, on to the next topic is challenges or operations, however you want to call it. So basically, for this bit, you can earn like one or two extra squad points, which is quite helpful in a way, because you can earn like up to seven or something. But anyways, I haven't put on like the best operations that I would actually do in reality, but this is just like a little example. So basically... <coughs> <coughs> oh god um anyway excuse me about that but anyway as you can see on here like i've put on a, a few operations and obviously i've got quite a few f weapon operations so put on some operations that you are close to completing and um leave some space as well for getting some other challenges completed such as you know avenger you know get get a kill get get um the kill um, like just after an, a f teammate dies, um, you, you know, put on put on some challenges that like you know you, you know that you have on your class. So, you know, if it's something to do with a throwing knife, then put some kind of throwing knife challenge on. Whatever. So, you know, then you can earn extra squad points. And also, whatever game mode you're gonna do as well, uh, don't forget to possibly put one or two challenges on that as well. So the next topic is the game modes. So obviously this is one of the most important topics that I'm going to be talking to you guys about. So play a game mode <coughs> that you're particularly that you particularly like. So you know one a game mode that you you know you love to play over and over again because then you you know you're not going to get bored and you know you're not going to just go off straight away. You know, you're not going to just go off the game straight away because, you know, then you can earn, like, you know, quite a few squad points and you were, it's, it's quite hard to realise how quickly your squad points actually go up. So, anyway, <coughs> there is quite a few game modes that are good. I recommend playing some that, you know, earn you some extra points in a way. So, like, if... So possibly something like kill confirmed, so you get the kill and there's like a tag where you can get like, you know, 50 extra experience. And so what, that extra 50 could be what levels you up and then, you know, you can earn possibly one or two squad points off that. So, you know, that that's quite helpful. But, you know, play whatever game mode you want and just make sure you do well in that game mode. So anyway guys, I'm going into a uh, game like... You, you know, ju just to give you guys a little bit of gameplay, and uh, I'm I'm going I'm keeping the um, create a class up, so you can see, you know, there is there is like you know no gaining there is like no gaining squad points and all of that like before I actually went into a game or anything like that. But so I've got some gameplay for you guys, so I can also show you guys 
that you know how many score points you can get just by following uh, the tips that I've showed you and if you just want to skip to near the end then skip it up to 18 minutes 56 Anyway guys, the final topic I want to talk to you guys about is field orders. So basically, you know, field orders, they can they can grant you experience and squad points. So, you know, what you're going to do when you've when you completed your field orders or if you complete your field field orders, excuse me, but you know, when you've completed them or if you completed them, but you know, if you've completed them, then you know what what you're going to do. Obviously, you're granted with a care package. So you know, you call that thing in, and then obviously, if you can get some good out of it, then you can get yourself quite a few kills, and that can grant you experience and squad points, and possibly complete one or two challenges as well. I don't know, but anyways, it's good to get some field orders done. Just make sure you're picking them up at the right time, like you know don't don't just run in there like into an open spot where there's more like more than likely to be enemies like hanging around and then you get killed you, you know it's just gonna it's just gonna waste your time so you know <clears throat> pick them up when it's actually a good time so you can get a few extra squad points and experience so anyway guys that is them um, all the tips uh, that I can tell you all so you know I hope that uh, these tips have helped you out and don't forget to skip the video to um, eight, 18 minutes 56 so you can see how many score points that I earned uh, after this uh, gameplay or if you want to watch the full gameplay like you know you know feel free to but you know so I, I've I've kept this uh, part in here just so just to prove to you guys that you know it's not cutting out anything just so that like you know, I could just play another game, get, grab myself more squad points, and make it look like as if I gained like 30 squad points in one game. Because that, that's just ridiculous. And you know, I want to be honest with you guys, but I did earn quite, I did earn a little bit of uh, experience, definitely a few squad points. And if you just keep playing, then you will get loads. So you know, hope you enjoyed this video and stuff, and I'll see you guys later on. Sad come back.
Guard dog ready. I'm spotted. spotted friendly satcom active Nice work, ghosts. Well done. So anyway guys, as you can see after that game, I managed to gain 10 squad points there just after that one game. Now I would have gained even more like if if I played either a longer game mode or if I played a bit better because that wasn't necessarily my uh, best game ever. But anyway guys, I'm going to end stuff here. So hope you enjoyed this video and stuff and I hope these uh, tips hope. Uh, helped you and I'll see you guys later on peace and subscribe